you guys. I am so excited. I got a new book to review with you. And it's an amazing book, as you can see already. Um, I am so stoked for this book. I've been so excited for this book since she announced it on her Patreon. And I have just been, like, eagerly waiting. I have it in my hands. I uh, read it in, like, a day and a half. Only because I was like, don't read this entire book in a day. That's cheating yourself. So I read it cover to cover in a day and a half. I read it the next day. Um, and I'm going to read it again and again and again. I already know. Because I absolutely love this book. Like, I thought the first book was good. This book is even better. I love this so much. Um, this is Rainbow Magic. 12 Creative Color Quest for Art Witches by Molly Roberts. And you guys already know, if you've been on this channel for any length of time, I love Molly. I love her so goddamn much. <laughs> I love everything she does, essentially. So this is going to be the most non-biased book review possible because I had preconceived notions going in and then she exceeded all expectations, which was amazing. Um, but I already love her, so all this made me do was love her more. Um, but I love this book so dang much. And I had to sort of like wheel back on my excitement to share it with you guys because I was like, you're just going to vomit up a bunch of words. It's not going to make any sense. Like, let it percolate and sit in your brain for a little bit, like a little marinate um, before you come up here and start sharing stuff because I was so excited to share this. This book was wonderful. It was amazing. The 200 out of 10 stars. Like, I love it. <laughs> um, I know already I'll be coming back to this book over and over and over again in the same way that I did with her first book. Um... You guys, it's a beautiful book. It's called Rainbow Magic. The pages are rainbow, which already is the best finishing touch in the world. I love that so much. I love that the color is a through line throughout the entire book. Um, it also was, like, funny to read because when I started over here in the, like, reds and oranges, um, and then I got to about green, I was like, oh, I know exactly where I am because I know, you know, the rainbow, right? Um, so I was like, I know exactly how long it's going to be till I finish the book. And I started getting really sad when I got to purple because I knew there was only one color between me and the end of the book. So this was a fantastic book, you guys. I absolutely could not recommend this book enough. If you're looking for art witchy things, this is the place to be. Molly is an amazing artist, an amazing witch. Um, my favorite thing about this book was the readability. This was very easy to read. It was very uh, user-friendly. Also, it gave me a lot of inspiration and a lot of motivation, but it didn't feel, like, pressured to, like, you have to do the things or, like, this is the only way to do the things. None of that. It was very, like typical of Molly's style if you've ever seen one of her videos of like this very gentle nurturing like encouraging sort of vibe that carries over into this book it was just like here are some things you can try and if this works for you you can do that and I love that approach because it's so stress-free because I don't feel like I have to do certain things or fit into like a certain bubble I can just sort of take what works and leave behind what doesn't and that's amazing this book is set up um like it says with 12 quests um and I like I had no idea like I, I had no idea how she was going to do this book when she said the name of the book I was like oh we're getting like a color magic book that's going to be interesting because she's an art witch and it's art witchy things so like that's going to be interesting but I had no like preconceived notions on how that was going to be addressed or come across or what I didn't know if we were going to be like moving from color to color and then talking about that individually and working with those sort of things or what the process was it wasn't anything that I expected which is great <laughs> because it kept me interested and I like I, I did not find myself getting bored whatsoever but essentially this is on uh rainbow mancy which is working with the colors in your magical practice to like encourage uh, growth and beauty and magic in your own life by using the colors to like how would I describe it to enhance the the way that you move through the world and see the world and things like that um so this was like a whole separate magical practice based around colors which as an artist myself was an amazing way to look at it like this definitely gave me a lot to think about and a lot to like open up my mind on and be like hmm I haven't really considered that like this is a really easy way for me to like put my two loves together um art and magic like put those together um so I really love that and then um it goes through like what you would typically expect on a book of color magic she covers the colors color theory those sort of things um working with your own correspondences for the colors which I think is a really important thing because we don't all perceive color the same way so like we shouldn't 
feel constricted to follow like that by the book somebody else's interpretation of what those colors mean like you should definitely explore color and your relationship to it and then come up with your own correspondences because it would resonate better with you and then it comes through with these like 12 quests just like it says um and it starts from like building a book to um doing the correspondences and then going on scavenger hunts to find more color and start getting into like the mindset of looking for colors and the things that you're looking for so if you're trying to resonate with a certain like energetic vibe if you start to look for it you will find it and you'll have more of that resonation resonation resonance um in your own life and so that's amazing and then it was like making an your color guide building an altar so getting into like the witchier sort of magic ear things and then there was a food section you guys there was a food section and they were vegetarian and as a vegetarian i was super appreciative of not having to make my own substitutions <laughs> or trying to like figure out what good replacements there would be for things they start out vegetarian and then there are suggestions for ways to not be vegetarian and that's fantastic i love that um and then there was a home decor section, which I was like, yes, absolutely everything, um, because I need to, like, crowd my home with more maximalist, colorful things. Um, so this gave me a lot to work with. Um, and then there was glamour magic. So, like, your your personal outlook, your personal dress, your personal style, all those things, how you can tie that into color magic and those sort of things. And then there was, um, like, working with your dreams, coming up with an oracle, uh, doing, like, all the magical witchy things that we think of in elixirs like little bottles of cool fun stuff and then some examples on those and then there was a whole section of meditations which was fantastic um and then you know like you got to the end and it was amazing this was a great read also i love this her artwork is all throughout the book just like her first book and then there's also these really great photos on some of the projects in here and there's a ton a ton of projects you guys i'm not going to go through everything because you should definitely pick up this book and check it out but there's color palettes there's like things that you can do to like jazz up your wardrobe there's stuff you can do to jazz up your house the, the food i want to try all the food super excited <laughs> for this section i can't even begin to tell you how excited I am <laughs> to try all these things out. I started out like nicking all of these little like page tabs from my job to be like save this and do this <laughs> and do this but then I was like tear all these out because you want to do everything at some point. Um, so I just marked the thing I wanted to do the most first <laughs> and then I left all the rest of the page tabs out there because I want to do everything in this book. I absolutely loved it. There's so much to explore here, so much to think about and like I said I found this book to be so motivating. Like look how beautiful, look how beautiful this is. I love it. <laughs> um, and this was such a good idea. This is like on how to make a book that you can store your color magic stuff in there when you find things in a color stuff that you want to save. You can sort it by color in this magical book and she tells you how to make the little scratch board cover, turn it into a grimoire, and then, you know, you can use little pouches and pockets to hold all your cool, like, colorful magic-y stuff, which is so neat. And I love that so much. It's such a great idea. And then, um, like, the... When she went over color theory, I was like, okay, you you know this, but like listening to somebody else explain it to me just made me feel a lot more confident about how I approach color and like reinforce the fact that I do know color theory. <laughs> because I've been wanting to like share a video on that with you guys but every time I go to do it I'm like mmm scaredy <laughs> what if I don't know it correctly but I did know it and she made me feel better about knowing it and I don't know how she does that it's just the way that she writes it's just the approachable nature of the author and like I said I love her so freaking much <laughs> that this is not going to be an unbiased review whatsoever I would definitely recommend this book I enjoyed it immensely and it gave me so much to work with and to think about afterwards and then gave me just like a new way to look at how I approach my own art and and gave me a lot of ideas. I'm like, well, you could actually add color to that. You don't have to be like a drab, dreary bitch all the time. <laughs> you could maybe put some colors in there and it would be meaningful and expressive and amazing. So I'm really looking forward to working with this book more, getting um, a more in-depth, you're probably like, I will probably start dog-earing these pages at some point because I'm horrible to my books, but there's so much I want to try in here um and I hope that you guys uh check this book out because it's amazing she's an amazing witch she's an amazing person I really I really love her um I, this is also a review of Molly clearly because I'm just gonna keep telling you how much like of a person she is she is a person <laughs> whom I happen to really like um but I hope that you guys like check this out because it's just genuinely good book genuinely good book um 
it's got good magic stuff in there and if you're looking for like ways to sort of enhance your relationships with color with your your magical practice with your art witchery like this is this is the place to go um this is the books i wish i had you know 10 years ago but they're happening now and i'm using them now so that's fantastic also recommend her first book it's also very good i also have her art witch oracle deck um it's just it's fantastic it's amazing and her artwork is just genuinely very nice like i love all of her little drawings in here like they're just so pretty and so like inspiring and i just love the way that she works with line work it's cool it's great it's amazing i love it there's not much else i can say about it because it's all going to be positive just gushing over it um so yeah that's that's my review of Rainbow Magic uh, 12 Creative Color Quest for Art Witches by Molly Roberts. Um, let me know if you guys have this book, too, if you picked it up. I would love to hear your thoughts and feelings about it. Um, and if you have it, if, what you're going to try from it, because i got to know what you're going to try first. I'm going to try these uh, candles first. These candle holders, not candles. But they are homegrown crystal votive holders, and I am going to try that. I'm very excited for it. <laughs> I don't have any of this stuff. I have to go get this stuff. I don't have to get this stuff. I want to get this stuff. Um, but that's going to be it for me, guys, because I'm just going to keep rambling about how much I love her and this book. Um, so that's all for now. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate your faces, and I will catch you guys all in the next one. Until then, happy crafting. Bye!